Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Oh, we worship your majesty. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Somebody just give him praise. Somebody just give him praise. Somebody just give him praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, whatever the time is in your location. God bless you. God bless you. It is well with you. It is well with your family. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It is well with you. 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 It is well with you all. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody just worship him, just thank him. 
appreciate him for whom he is, for your life. You are here, you are alive, you are healed, you are healthy. Just thank God for his grace. Just thank him, just thank him, just thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his mighty works. Thank him for all, he's all he has done, all he's doing, all that he is still going to do, all that he is yet to do. Appreciate him for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Somebody just give him praise, just give him praise. He is faithful, he is awesome, he is Yahweh, he is the beginning, he is the end, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, you are Yahweh, we thank you, Yahweh. You are an amazing God. You are an amazing God. You are the lily of the valley. My God, we just bless you, Lord. We exalt you, Father God. We adore you. We exalt you. You are the beginning. You are the end. You are the alpha. You are the omega, Lord. Who is like unto you, O God? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Glory to you, Jesus. Honor to your name, Father. We adore you. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Yes, he is our rock. He's our shelter. He is our strong tower. Oh, we glorify your name, Jehovah God. You are Yahweh. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us just go before the Lord this hour and begin to ask him for mercy. Just begin to ask him for mercy. Say, Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Yahweh, be merciful to me in any way that I have sinned against you with the words of my mouth, with my actions, with my behavior, knowingly or unknowingly. Father, be merciful to me. Forgive me my sins. Oh, even with the meditations of my heart. Lord, I cry out for forgiveness. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me, oh God, from all unrighteousness. Father, cleanse me. Cleanse me, cleanse me, cleanse me. Cleanse me, cleanse me. Riba gados in telikatos yadabas. Father, remember your blood on the cross. Remember your blood on the cross. Remember your blood on the cross. You are, remember your blood on the cross. Remember your blood on the cross. Wash me with that blood, O oh God, that you shed for me on the cross. Wash me with that blood. Wash me with that blood, Jesus. Oh, wash me, wash me, wash me with that blood. Wash me, wash me, Jesus. Wash me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. Have your way. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Have your way. Have your way. You are the pillar, Lord, that holds my life. Be exalted. Is it the pillar that is holding your life? Whose pillar is holding your life? Father, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Glory to you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Can we share, please? Share on groups. Share on your messenger. 
host watch parties, invite people to join us, and our lives will not be the same again in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run. Somebody say run to Jesus. Type it. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Just begin to type run to Jesus. Just begin to type run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Oh my God. Type it. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Who is typing it? Run to Jesus. Can we type run to Jesus? Run to Jesus. That's right. Run to Jesus. No matter the situation. No matter the pressure. No matter what you are passing through. Just run to Jesus. Because he is the pillar that holds our lives. He is the pillar that holds our life. He is the pillar that holds our life. Run to Jesus. Because the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous runs into it and they are saved. Did you hear that? The righteous, only the righteous, runs into that name Jesus. And they are saved. They are secured. They are delivered. Run to Jesus. <laughs> we are in an era that the devil is waging war against the children of God. But in that time, who do you run to? Who do you run to? Who do you run to? Ha ya ya. This is when people begin to run to their own knowledge. People begin to depend on their own strength. People begin to depend on their own ability. People begin to depend on prophets. People begin to depend on a voodoo priest. People begin to depend on flesh. People begin to depend on self-righteousness. People begin to rely on different things here and there. But you that is a servant of God, who do you run to? When the going gets tough, when the going gets tough, when it seems like there is no way out, when you feel like you have been cornered, when you feel like you have been caged, when you feel like, oh, you are all by yourself, you are rejected. Oh, tell me, brethren, I'm asking you this time, who do you run to? In the time of trials, in the time of adversity, in the time of temptations, when all hope is lost, answer me, people of God, I ask you again, who do you run to? Who do you run to? Who do you run to? When everybody has left you, it's like you are standing all alone. You are standing all alone. You are just standing all alone. Oh, that person you depended on has disappointed you. That person you hoped would be there for you has disappointed you. I ask you, who do you run to? Who do you run to? <laughs> hey. 
Let's go to the Bible. Father, we thank you for this hour. Speak us for speak to us, oh God. For we hear you. We hear you. We hear you, Jehovah God. Let's go to the book of Luke 18. Ah, my shakatalabos, Yadaba. Be focused. Open up your hearts. Be ready to hear. Be ready to be encouraged and strengthened. Oh my God. Luke 18. Let's see from 35 to 43. Somebody post it. Luke 18, 35 to 40, to 43. Somebody pause the scripture for us, please. Luke 18. We're going to start reading from 35 to 40. Hallelujah. 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 Can somebody post it? That's right. It says, Mashatalabosi Kayadabash. Hey, Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. This is not going to be a very long message. So just be sensitive and pay attention. Glory to God. Glory to God. Verse 35 says, And it came to pass. That as he was coming nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. <laughs> he says hey, that it, there was a certain beggar. Who sat by the side begging? This guy is here begging. A beggar. Beggar. Not only was he a beggar. He was a blind beggar. And hearing the multitude by. He asked what it meant. Because this guy couldn't see. But he, he could hear. A multitude passing by. The noise. The roar was too much. He was in his, in his junction. He was in his place of assignment. His assignment as at this time as a blind man was to beg to eat, was to beg for survival. And while he was there, Jesus came passing. But this guy did not ignore that Jesus was passing. He began to ask, what is going on here? Why is there so much noise? Why is there so much uproar? He refused to be silent. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. And he cried saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Hey, the man only heard that Jesus was passing. This man understood that his life was incomplete. This guy caught the vision that, hey, the solution to his problem is passing by. He did not wait for man to tell him. This was a blind man. He opened up his mouth and began to cry out. He began to cry out. Jesus, thou son of David. Please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And they which went before him rebuked him. That he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Let's take a pause there. This guy knew he had a problem. This guy, nobody could help him. This was an adult we don't know. Maybe he was born blind. He was in his place where he was begging for survival. Where he depended on people to survive. While he was there, Jesus was passing. 
he took an immediate interest. Although he could not see, he has been blinded. Oh, he was blinded. He asked somebody, what is going on? What is happening here? And they said to this man, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Hey, this guy understood that. Immediately he caught the vision. This is the solution I have been waiting for. This is the solution I have been waiting for. This is the answer to my problem. This is the only guy, the only man that can help me. And he lifted up his voice and he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David have mercy upon me and do you know what happened oh the people that we have, that could see the people that thought that they have the right to that, that only them has the claim or right to Jesus they tried to shut him up hey mister shut up Jesus is not for people like you they tried to belittle him they tried to embarrass him they tried to disgrace him and they which went before look at that they rebuked him that he should hold his peace Hey, they said to this man, hold your peace. Hey, be quiet. Jesus is not here for you. They rebuked him. Hey, what, what do you concern you concern Jesus? Maybe they will ask him, what is your business with Jesus? Jesus is not for people like you, you blind man. I bet keep quiet there. Let Jesus see better people like us. We that can see, we that are following, we that are running after him. You that is here, what do you know? Shut up. Stay there in your lane. Stay there in your problems. Remain in this your wicked wicked way. Remain here in this your frustration. Remain here in this your situation. But I love this man. I love this man. I love this man. I love this man. Hey, kalakatosia ta 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 ta. E prakatala da 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 Despite the challenge he was facing, despite the more, how much more they were trying to shut him up. He said, but he cried so much the more, the more they tried to shut him up, the more they tried to silence him, the more they tried to disgrace him, the more they tried to embarrass him, the more he shouted, the more he cried out, the more he said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. This guy refused to be silenced. He refused to allow his situation to shut him up. He refused to allow the voice of man shut him up. He refused to allow his present condition shut him up. Although he was blind, but he knew the answer was by his side. He knew that his situation was not palatable, but this guy was ready not to remain in the same place. Although they tried to stand in his way, although they tried to stand in his way, but this guy refused. But this guy refused. This guy refused to be silenced. This guy refused to be silenced. I don't know the situation that has blinded you. I don't know the situations that have silenced you. I don't know what you are going through that has made you a laughing stock. They tried to embarrass this man. They tried to put him in his place according to them. They tried to shut him up. They did not see nothing good in him. They didn't see anything good in him. He didn't, they didn't see why Jesus should have mercy on him. They didn't see why he should be the one calling on Jesus. But I thank God for God. God, because he does not see you the way man sees you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This word, this message is for somebody here today. No, 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 no. I say Jesus does not see you the way the world sees you. Jesus does not see you the, even the way you see yourself. No. Jesus does not see you the way people see you. People may look at you and see the worst in you. People may look at you and see the, the, your mistakes. People may look at you and see you for how you are. But Jesus looks way beyond that. Jesus looks way above that. 
Even these people had given up on this blind man. Nobody was there to encourage him to say, listen, listen, listen. Jesus is passing. Oh, you better run to him. Jesus is passing. Oh, you better run to him. Is it not how the world is today? People you hope to encourage you. People you hope to strengthen you. People you hope to be dear for you. In the time of your adversity. In the time of your trials. In the time of tribulations. They will be the first to bail out on you. They will be the first to give up on you. But I love God for God. Uh, he does not see you like the way man sees you. He doesn't even see you how you see yourself. No, 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 no. He's too good for that. And you are too good for that too. Why then are you looking down on yourself? Why then are you looking at your own ability? But this blind man, although he was blind, he was restricted. Although he had a condition, he couldn't see. He couldn't even see Jesus face to face. But he could hear that Jesus was passing by. What is that situation that has so blinded you? What is that situation that is shutting you up? What are you going through in your life that has caused you to give up on yourself? Not only have you given up on yourself, you have also given up on God. Even when He, God, has not given up on you, why would you give up on Him? Who do you run to when the going gets tough? When you are pushed to the corner, when you are pushed to the corner, who do you run to? Who do you run to? Who do you see in the midst of that affliction? Who do you see? Ah, uh, the blind man refused to be intimidated. He refused to be disgraced. He refused to be embarrassed. Why do you allow your situation to intimidate you? No, no, no. You are worth much more than that. You are worth much more than that. You are worth much more than that. Come on, say to yourself. Say to yourself. Come on, tell yourself. Tell yourself. Somebody needs to say this to his or herself. I am worth much more than that. I am worth much more than that. I am worth much more than that. Come on, say it to yourself now. I better believe it when you say it to yourself. Come on, say it to yourself. I am worth much more than that. Patience. You are worth much more than that. Somebody needs to speak to themselves this very hour. I am worth much more than that. I am a treasure. I am valuable. Hey, ka 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 ta ta ta. Come on, say that to yourself. Say you are worth much more than that. You are worth much more than that. You are worth much more than that. Say to yourself, I am worth much more than that. I am a treasure. I am important. Hallelujah. I am worth much more than that. I am a treasure. Therefore, I am worth much more than that. I am worth much more than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I refuse to be intimidated. I refuse to allow my situation intimidate me. I refuse to let this mountain intimidate me. I refuse to allow this problem intimidate me. I refuse to be intimidated by anything. Oh, 
Hey, what is intimidating you? What is the challenge in your life? Are you paying attention to your challenge? Or you are paying attention to the challenge breaker? Are you paying atten attention, more attention to your, to your, to your, to your, to your issues and problems? Or more, more than the one that has the power to change the story of your life? Oh, this blind man refused to be intimidated. They tried to put him in his place. They tried to shut him up. Hey, they rebuked him. Shut up. Who are you? Jesus is not for people like you. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus is exactly for people like you. He knows it because you are worth much more than that. You are valuable. You are worth much more than that. Makayate. Rabagado siketelelebo. The more they tried to shut him up, the more the guy was crying out louder. The more they shut him up, the more he was shouting. The more they tried to silence him, the more he ran to Jesus. The more the pressure of life tries to put him back, the more he pushed himself forward. Have you fallen and allowed yourself to fall flat? No, no, no. The man refused. He refused. The more they tried, the more he shouted. The more he screamed, Oh Jesus, thou son of David, thou son of David, thou son of David, Rabagadosi Akata, Lapakata Labagadosi, Oh, the more the situation was tough and hard, the stronger he was, the more determined he was. Hey, he said, I'm not going to let this time pass me by. Jesus is passing. Oh my God. I have been waiting for him all my life. I've been waiting for him all my life. And now he is passing and they are trying to shut me up. I refuse to shut up. I refuse to stay down. I refuse to fall flat. No, 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 no. I refuse to give up now. I can't give up now i have come too far to turn around i have gone too far to give up oh he cried out louder this is my chance this is my opportunity i am not going to let it go hey sikata hey sikata hey sikata hey sikata hey sikata Hey Sikata, hey Sikata, Rebo go do 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 do. Yikata ta 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 ta. Hey Sikata ta ta. Lagado lagado. Igerege de 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 de. Kureke te bagado sin talaba. In the name of Jesus. Hi Akatuli Arabas. Rabagado si Arabas. He cried. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him. Now listen, the cry of the man, hey, katatata, reached unto Jesus. This was a blind man. But Jesus heard his cries. Jesus heard his voice. You are a voice. You are a voice. Don't be quiet. Don't be shut down. Don't let no situation shut your mouth down. Don't let no situation shut you down. Jesus said to him, Jesus stood and located this guy. He said, and he commanded him to be brought unto him. Do you know that if this guy had been quiet, he would have missed This man was located right where he stood. But if he had listened to his critics, if he had listened to them that were trying to shut him up, he would have missed his opportunity. 
Many of you have missed your opportunities because you allowed yourself to be talked down. Because you allowed your situation to keep you quiet. Because you paid attention to your pressure. Instead of you to pay, instead of you to pay attention to the creator of the universe. You allowed that situation to, to talk you down, to silence your voice. Jesus is still passing your way tonight. Jesus is still passing your way tonight. The blind man ran to Jesus. He ran to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thou son of David. The more they tried to shut him up, the louder he shouted, the more he cried, and Jesus stood. Ah, I see. I see Jesus standing for somebody here tonight. Jesus is going to stand for somebody here tonight. Jesus is going to stand for somebody here tonight. Jesus will stand for somebody here tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Maya gada baba bakureke tela basken terebos. Now Jesus said, He said, What will that that I do, that I shall do unto thee? <laughs> what is it you want me to do for you? His cries, his voice attracted the attention of Jesus. Jesus asked him, what is it you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you, son? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. That is all I want to God. To receive my sight. To receive my sight to God. That I may receive my sight. That I may receive my sight. Hey. This guy was straight to the point. He knew what he wanted. He did not beat around the bush. He knew his answer has come. All I want, Lord, is to receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith had saved thee. Your faith, uh, even when the situation was pushing him down, this guy had faith. Hey, my voice will be heard today. Jesus has to hear my voice. Jesus has to locate me today. Oh, today that Jesus is passing by. Today is not going to pass me by. Jesus has to locate me today. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And other people they saw him give praise unto the God. You see, other people that saw him, they gave praise to God. Don't forget that these same people we are the one that we are depriving him. These same people we are the one that we are rebuking him. These same people we are the one shutting him up. But when his time came, when the miracle came, they gave praise to God. You see how human beings can be? You see how people can be? <laughs> they will pretend like they don't know what you are passing through. They will pretend like they don't see what you are passing through. But when the answer comes, they are there glorifying God. Thank God. Oh, eh, is it, how did it happen? Two-faced people. Now they are rejoicing with him. Now they are celebrating with him. They were once upon a time mocking and laughing at him. They were once upon a time trying to shut him, up, uh, him up and try to put him where they think he belongs. But God had other plans. 
Jesus is passing your way. Now I ask you, who do you run to? This blind man ran to Jesus. He knows that Jesus is the solution that he has been waiting for. He knows that Jesus was the answer that he has been waiting for. He knew that Jesus is the one that he has been waiting for. And he ran to Jesus. Who do you run to? Who do you run to? When the going gets tough, do you begin to call home? This is when some people will begin to will begin to bow to, 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 to oppositions, begin to bow to challenges. You begin to stop going to church and you are calling your families back home. Please, oh, I need that charm. I need this charm. Oh, many people are here in Europe. They are still collecting charms from Africa. They are still sending their parents to strange places. They are still sending their parents to evil altars to go and look for solution for them. It is only in Christ Jesus that you have solution. Who do you run to? Do you not run to juju priests? Do you not run to evil altars? Do you not run to negative and wicked friends? Who do you run to in the time of trouble? Who do you run to in the time of difficulties? Who do you run to? Is that the time you give up and say, oh, I have waited. This man has been, has been blind for years, for years, for years he has been blind. But when his timing came, nobody could stop him. When your time it comes, no man, nobody can stop you. Although they've been trying to delay the process. They try to delay the process for this man, but they refuse to give up. Maybe with one call, if not for these people, Jesus would have located him. But they tried to shut him up. He persisted. Oh yes, you need to persist. You need to be persistent. 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 When you fall down seven times, rise up again seven times. I begin to chase after the cross. I begin to run after Jesus. He is the altar and altar and the finisher of your faith. In God, there is no failure. In him, there is no disappointment. Who do you run to? Who do you run to? Let's look at our other scriptures before we pray and we go. Second Kings 4, 1 to 7. Let's read it. Second Kings 4, 1 to 7. Second Kings four one to seven. What can't he do? Second Kings 4, 1 to 7. Somebody type it. Pause the scripture. There is nothing too hard for him to do. Second Kings 4, 1 to 7, that's right. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bond men. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me. What hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaid had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow. Go, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, 
Thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shall pour out unto all these vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went forth from him, and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she, she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. And she came to, to and told him, and told the man of God. And he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and leave thou and thy children of the rest. This is a woman, a widow for that matter. Her husband died. This husband borrowed money and used his sons as collateral. Can you imagine that? Now the guy was gone. The woman now her only consolation are her children. And suddenly the creditor said they want to come and collect their collateral, which is her son. But this woman knew that there is a God somewhere. This woman knew that Jesus is alive. She was a, her husband was a prophet. So she is a pastor's wife. She believed. She trusted. She didn't wait for the creditors to come. She didn't wait for her to be disgraced. Do you know what kind of a shame is that? They will say, hey, see prophet wife. Oh. So prophet wife, if they have taken their sons. Eh, what did she do? They will even say, oh, maybe she has committed one sin. Oh, maybe she has disobeyed God. Oh, oh, what is it they have said? For a prophet, prophet's wife, to live in this kind of life, dilemma. Now, her two sons, the only proper, the only thing she has after her husband, <laughs> they want to come and collect. It was too much for her to handle. She had to go to the higher power. She had to go to her power at the highest authority. She ran to the man of God. Hey, man of God, this is my story. This is my situation. This is what I am passing through. Oh, man, because of her faith, there was divine intervention. Oh, my God. She knew that she's a daughter of God. She had the confidence. That she's a daughter of God. She knew that God will never disappoint. The man of God said, okay, do this, do that. Follow divine instructions and all will be well. And she went. You know how disgraceful it is. For you to be going around your neighborhood. Knock on this and say, please, do you have empty, empty container? Oh, anyone, as long as it's empty, just give me. There will be different shapes. There will be different sizes. There will be different colors. She went around. Oh, have you got a drum? Ah, uh ah, -uh, madam. What are you? Oh, don't worry. I just need it. She was not even battering word with anybody. She was not explaining nothing to anybody. She just went for the vessels as, in, as, as advised. I put them all in you. Hey, who is your trust? My trust is in you, Lord Jesus. My trust is in you. Ha, yeah, yeah. My confidence is in you. We put it all in you. <laughs> this woman knew that there is still hope. This woman knew that her God is able to deliver her. She ran to the man of God. Who do you run to for help in time of adversity? Who do you run to in times of challenges? This woman ran to God. He went to the servant of God. I know when you pray there will be solution. I know when you, when you speak it comes to pass. And she got solution. Every situation that wants to embarrass you, every situation that wants to disgrace you, may your Lord, your God disgrace them 
In the name of Jesus, every power planning to ridicule your name, may your God embarrass them. May your God disgrace all of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. A child of God, I am no longer a slave to fear. Don't allow fear to rob you of your testimony. Oh, this woman could have been afraid and runs off with her children out of the house or somewhere or just go do something silly. But she didn't. She stood, she was there and she fought her problems to the end. But she took steps by running to the man of God, believing God that the Lord of hosts will speak and use the man of God. Who do you run to in the time of difficulty? Where do you go to in the time of trial? <laughs> hey, Father, who, when God is saying it's not done yet, you are saying, oh God, I'm no longer interested. God is saying, I'm just getting started with you. You are saying, oh Lord, oh God, just keep your help. Heaven help those who help themselves. Let me go and look for better help elsewhere. Ah, after all, God, how long have, have you been helping? Nothing is happening. And you go to go help yourself in the sinful way. In the sinful way. And when the trouble comes, you run back to pastor. We need to be wise. We need to be wise. Uh, tell me this woman knew that all hope was not lost she knew that all hope wasn't lost not yet there is still one more thing to do oh servant of God this is what is going on and she got an answer. Even though the situation was intimidating, she trusted and believed God. She trusted and believed God. And she and her family had more than enough. You need to be patient. You need to be patient. Hi. Who do you run to? He's a father that cares like no one else. He is a father that loves like no one else. He is a father that will not allow his own to be disgraced and be disappointed. He said, I will make a way for you. I will cause rivers in the desert. Have you ever seen rivers in the desert? He is able to do all things and anything.
Your God is a God of possibilities. All you need to do is to be close to him. All you need to do is to love him. All you need to do is to surrender your heart to him. All you need to do is to hand over your life to him. Oh, yesterday Jesus was talking about it, about us giving him the driver's seat of our lives so that he can drive us into his own plans and purpose for us. Many of us are still the one driving the vehicle of our lives. We refuse to hand the steering over to Jesus so that he can take it wherever he wants. Mashaka Talabas. He will not force you. No, no. He's too good for that. Are you running away or running to him? You are not supposed to run off, run away. You are supposed to run close to him, to the king of kings, to the lord of lords. The best place to start is to hand over your life to him. If you know your ways are not right, if he's not the one controlling you, then it is an error because you are a servant to who, whichever is controlling you. If sin is controlling you, you are a slave to sin. If whatever is controlling you, you are a slave to that thing. If the Holy Ghost is controlling you, and so... God's word can never be mocked. Are you ready to say, Lord, I hand over to you. I give you my everything. I give you my, oh, Jesus, the King of Kings. Jesus is passing your way again tonight. Are you ready to run to him? Are you ready to hand it all over to him? Are you ready to say, Lord, I run to you right now. I run into your name that is a strong tower. But until you know him, you cannot really run to him. Do you know him? Do you know him to run to him? You cannot run to a father that you don't know or that doesn't know you. So you need to go first. You need to establish a genuine relationship with him. And then you can run and hide in him. Hmm. Hmm. He can never, never fail. He can never, ever fail. Jesus never fails. My God never fails. My God never fails. He never fails. <laughs> he loves you so much like no one else. He cares about your life. He cares about what you're going through. He cares about that your situation and he wants to hand he wants to handle it for you. But will you allow him? Will you allow him? Will you allow him? Will you, allow him? Will you let him hand over? Will you hand over the, your life to him? Would you now give him your heart? Because you need to be his son. You need to be his daughter. Ah. 
Hi. Are you ready to surrender to him? Are you still living in sin? Are you still telling lies, fornicating, doing all manner of things that you know you ought not to do? You need to give him your life so that you can run into his name that is a strong tower. Because you cannot run to a God you don't know or a God that doesn't know you. If you are the one that has been taking control of your life, you've been living your life anyhow you seem fit. Jesus is knocking at the door. Huh. You need to surrender your lives to him. He died on the cross for you. He wants to take over your life. He wants to handle the things in your life. But will you let him? You need to say, Lord, come take over my life. And then you begin to hand over the boat of your life to him. And then you begin to run to that name that is a strong tower. And that is the only way you can be saved. He says the righteous, only the righteous runs into that name and are saved. That means if you are unrighteous, you take it, read it the other way around. It means if you are not righteous, then that name will not work for you. So you need to hand over your life to him. Live a holy and a righteous life. And when things happen, you can can run into that name and be saved. Huh. I'm a witness. All that I ask you to do with no problem. You gave me all the chance to prosper. I held you by your words and you did it. Thank you, Baba. Hey. Are you ready? Are you ready to hand over your life to him? Are you ready to invite him into your life, into your heart? Are you ready to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior? And then you have a right to the name Jesus. And then you have access to that name Jesus. Kalaboshi Adabas. If you are here now, you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You know you still tell lies. You know you still fornicate. You know you still deceive. You know you still gossip. You know you still do things you, are, you ought not to do. I want to encourage you right now. You still fornicate. You are living with a man that is not your wife. A, a, a man that is not your husband. A woman that is not your wife. That you are not legally married to. You are living a life of sin. Jesus is passing your way now. So that you can now come to him. And begin to hand over your boat to him. Begin to surrender to him. You begin to run to him. He cares so much for you. He loves you so much. You that want to give your life to God, put your right hand on your chest right now. Put your right hand on your chest. 
Say, Lord Jesus. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I know that I am a sinner. I need your help. Today I have realized that I am living my life wrong. But I have come to you, Lord, and I give my life to you. I surrender my life to you. Oh, Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Purify and sanctify me. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because now I am born again. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for washing me. Oh, glory to you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you just gave your life to God right now in this broadcast, at the end of this broadcast, inbox me so that I can talk to you. So that I can talk to you more. Now begin to hand over the boat of your life. I don't know what the situation is in your life. I don't know the problem that you have. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what you are going through. But Jesus is able. I don't know what you are going through. But Jesus is able. Now I need you to just say, Lord, I run to you. Like the blind man, Lord, he refused to give up. Lord, I refuse to give up. Now that I am born again, Lord, now I have a right to your name. Now I'm entitled to your name. That is a strong tower. Lord, now I am cleansed. I am pure, so I am righteous. Lord, I have a right to your name. I am running into that name, Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Only the righteous runs into it and they are saved. Oh, the righteous runs into it and are saved. We're going to say, Father, Lord, I hide myself in you. I run to you that is my tower of strength. I run to you, Jesus. 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 I hide myself in you. I hide myself in you, Jesus. What is that thing? What is that issue that you have given up on? He says, I say, begin to run. That woman had a major problem. Can you imagine a widow with two sons? And now creditors are coming to claim ownership on your own son. That means the woman is finished. Nothing else to live for. In the midst of this dark cloud, she knew that there is a God who never fails. That God has never failed and he can never start now. No failure in his name. Failure is not associated with him. He's a good, good father. You run to him right now. And say, Father, I run to you. I run to you. 
I run to you with all my problems, with all my issues. I bring them before you, Lord. People have rejected me, abandoned me. Oh, this situation tried to frustrate me. But Lord, I refuse to be frustrated. I hand it over. I run to you, Jesus. I refuse to run to pressure. I refuse to run to anything outside of Christ. Lord, I run into your name that is a strong tower. Keep me safe. Protect and guide me. Even in this season of fear and uncertainties, Lord, I still run to you. I still run to you, Jesus. I still run to you. Oh, Father God, we worship you. 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 Ah, oh, Father, we worship you. Let your name be lifted. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified, O oh God. Begin to say, Father, hand, take over, take over. Take over, take over, take over, take over, Jehovah. Take over Jehovah. Take over Jehovah. Ah, hey, he said the, the Jesus stood still for blind for the blind guy. Jesus had to stand still for him. Jesus stood still for him. What is it that you want me to do? Do you see the similarity in these questions? Elisha. Ask the woman, what do you want me to do? Jesus asked the blind man, what is it you want me to do? That I may receive my sight. Now I am asking you as a mouthpiece of heaven, here, standing, sitting, representing God, what do you want God to do for you? <laughs> oh, listen, listen. When God is speaking, don't take it for granted. You know, when I say write your prayer request, things you want God to do for you. You see the testimony I shared about one of our sister here. She has seven things she wrote. Five has already happened. Seven. Was it in December time? I said, write seven things you want God to do for you. Today she checked. Sent a testimony. Out of the seven things she wrote, five has been taken care of. And the year has not even gone halfway. It's only two months that she's believing God for. Only two months items she's believing God for. Five has been answered. Our God is a prayer answering God. You just need to trust him. You just need to put your confidence in him. Go and check the, 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 the testimony I posted today. Just December, January, February, March, only four months. In four months, five prayer points has been answered. Now it's remaining only two because it is seven. And before mid-year or end of this year, I don't know what they are. What she, the remaining two, I don't know what they are. But whatever they are, I decree them answered by fire. And all of you that also wrote your prayer points, go and check it. You may not even know that God has answered some of those prayer points. You need to go and revisit where you kept it. God has done it for her. That same God is on the throne to do your own for you. What exactly do you want God to do for you? Tell him. Angels are here reading and watching. Tell God what you want him to do for you. Tell God, say, Father, this is what I want. He asked the blind man, what do you want? Oh, yeah. he asked the woman, what do you want? Similarity. You now I'm asking you, what do you want? What exactly do you want?
<laughs> now open your mouth and begin to tell God what you want. Open your mouth and begin to tell him because we are about to go now. Tell him what you want. What you want him to do. Talk to your father now before I round up for you. Talk to him. Ha, ha, ha. Are you talking to your father? Are you telling him? Are you talking to him? Talk to your father. Don't be afraid. He is your father. 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 Don't be afraid. Tell him what you want. The blind man did not shy away from his needs. What do you want? Did Jesus not see the blind man before asking him what he wants? Did Jesus not know that he was blind before asking him? Jesus knows what you need, but he still wants you to say it with your mouth. He just wants you to reconfirm it with your mouth. Ah, uh, this message is from somebody. The Lord gave me this message when I was praying this morning. It wasn't planned for. I was praying and it began to I start to hear it. Who do you run to? Run to God. Run to God. And then he brought me to this scripture and the other scripture. Immediately I was right. I was on my knees. I stood up and took my pen and paper. Otherwise I will forget. And I wrote it down. He just told me the blind man and the woman, the wife of the prophet. I didn't even remember where they were in the Bible. After prayer, I had to go to my Bible. I had to go sort it out. This is a message from heaven for somebody. Because God wants to change someone's story here today. God wants to encourage somebody here tonight. For you to know that he is God and will never lie. Hallelujah. Talk to him. He knows what you need, but say it. Oh, glory. Are you talking to your father? Because I'm going to pray now. I'm going to pray now. Oh, he's the only living God, able to do all things. Have you asked him? Have you spoken to your father? Type yes if you finish talking to him so I can round up the prayer for you. You are the one that knows yourself. You are the one that knows what you need. So tell it to him. All you need to ask is to ask in faith. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. He is your father. Yes, Lord.
Put your right hand on your forehead, everybody. I want to pray for you. Put your right hand on your forehead. Put your right hand on your forehead. I want to pray for you. Father, behold your people right now. They have made their request to God. When you were passing once upon a time in this city, there was a blind man, oh God, who cried out unto you, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me, Lord. And you had mercy upon him. You stood because of him. You left everything else because of him. You suspended your journey because of him. Father, tonight I myself and my people, we are calling upon your name. We call upon you, O oh God, that you will intervene in our situation, O oh God. Lord, we have asked, they have asked, O oh God. You know our needs, but you still want us to ask. You say, ask. And you will receive. Father, every single one that have asked you for one thing or the other, Lord, may it be done to us. May it be done to us. May it be done to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Thank you, Lord, for you have already forgiven us our trespasses against you. And now we have the every right and privilege to run into your name that is our strong tower. The Lord Jehovah, that you begin to perfect everything that concerns us. Every single thing that your people have asked for today, I decree and I declare that it is settled. It is done in the name of Jesus. It is settled and it is done in their lives, so God. We begin to decree, we begin to declare freedom, we begin to decree, we begin to declare victories over everything we have requested from, over everything we have asked for tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, help us. Lord, help us to remain faithful to you, to remain faithful to your word, to always believe in your powers, to always believe in your ability. Help us not to lean onto our own understanding because we have known. We hide ourselves in you. We run into your name that is a strong tower for safety, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my son, Toroko to Father God, we cover, we cover, we cover our cells in your blood, all our answers in your blood, all our prayer requests in your blood. We receive the answers by faith. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We cover the answers in your blood. We receive it by faith. May your name be glorified. Hallelujah. It is done. It is settled. It is done and it is settled. It is done and it is settled, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to appreciate God for answers. Begin to appreciate him for answers. Begin to appreciate him for answer. Say thank you, Jesus, because you have heard me. Thank you, Jesus, because you have answered. Oh, may your name be praised, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
we glorify your name. As we sleep tonight, Lord, let our spiritual eyes be opened. That you will reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is settled. It is settled. It is done and it is settled. In the name of Jesus. You have heard also God and you have answered. Make sure you love God with all your heart. Oh, Father God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is settled. Ah, thank, begin to thank him for answers. Thank you, Jesus. There you are. Bring, bring, somebody requested for water. Everybody bring your water. Let me bless it. Everybody get water. Everybody get your water. Let me bless your water for you. Get your water. Let me know you are ready. Type red if you are ready with your water. Type ready if your water, if you are ready with your water. Anyone else ready with their water? Lift up your water now. Let me bless it. Father, we command our waters to become your blood. Let this water become the blood of Jesus. We command that this water becomes your blood. Let it be a healing balm. In the name of Jesus. As we drink it, as they drink it, O oh God. Everything not of God in their body begin to melt it out. Begin to be flushed away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way. This is no ordinary water. It is not your blood. And Father, I release the power, the grace, the anointing upon my life and ministry into their water, O oh God. Let it be a healing balm to their body. Everything out of you in their lives, in their body, be melted and be flushed away. In the name of Jesus, doubt and fear be flushed away. Sicknesses be flushed away by fire. In the name of Jesus. That is not the blood of Jesus. 
Drink it for your total freedom and healings. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It is settled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can drink your water. God bless you. It is already anointed. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. It is well with all of you in Jesus' name. Please be strong in the Lord. Please be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't play with your salvation. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Don't play with your salvation. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready for him. Live your life today like it's the last day on earth. Live it like there is no tomorrow for you to repent and do the needful. This is not the time to harbor hatred. This is not the time to harbor malice. This is not the time to keep malice. This is not the time for unforgiveness. This is not the time for sin. Stay away. Stay away from sin. This is the time to love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Anything you know will drag you back to the world. Stay away from it. God is too holy for sin. And he does it in habit where there is sin. Sin will rob you of grace. Sin will rob you of the things of God. Sin will rob you of your blessing. Live your life for Jesus. Give your everything to him. Hand over your life to him completely. And allow him to take care of you. He is able to do it. He has been doing it. In this time of pandemic, cast your mind away from fear. Stop being fearful of pandemic. Sometimes I don't even remember if there is pandemic. I'm telling you the fact. I don't remember. Sometimes, many times, I don't even remember self, that there is pandemic, that there is coronavirus. I don't even remember because it is not our portion. Do the needful. Protect yourself. Do all you need to do to keep yourself safe, safe, free and safe. But be rest and sure that this season will soon pass and the mighty hand of God will begin to put things in order. The devil, the battle isn't won yet. And the devil is not in control. God is. Love him with all your heart. Don't settle for sin. Anything that is sin, stay away from it. Live in obedience to the word of God. Live in obedience to the word of God. May God bless all of you. Strengthen you. And get you through this season. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless everybody. Have a wonderful night rest. Shalom.